kept doing it. But it, it was definitely like a confidence booster for sure. Like it was like, okay, like he fucking with my melodies. Like that means like I can, I'm just gonna keep doing this thing. Like <laughs> keep doing it over and over. So yeah. So you, you recently made references to you guys being cousins, but initially it was, it felt like it was strategically like something that you kind of didn't want to acknowledge. Yeah. Was that because you wanted to earn things on, from, on your own merit? Yeah, not for sure. 100%. Like I said, it would be just like, if I wasn't ready to like do what I'm doing now, then, then it wouldn't be happening. You know what I'm saying? Like I wanted to be, even in the process of just like, like I wouldn't even ask for anything. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like I, I didn't send him my music until later, later, you know? So I just wanted to make sure it was, you know, like for me personally, I just want to like make sure it was like owned, like, you know what I'm saying? It's not handy. And there's plenty of other people that come from my family too that do music, but I don't know. I don't know why their process never, you know what I'm saying? So, uh, like, I don't know what's going on with that, but yeah, I just figured like, <laughs> All right. So we talked about feedback. Um, more than ever now, you guys, you artists, get instant feedback from the public, right? And um, a lot of times you see people get criticized, but be upset about it. Mm -hmm. I don't know if I missed it, but I do remember seeing a piece in Pitchfork that was very unflattering of you, but I've never seen you like respond to it. Yeah. So I was thinking, okay, like that makes me think he's above it, or he made me wonder, what's your take on uh, criticism or negative yeah. reviews? Do you acknowledge it? Does it bother you? Um, nah, um, 